So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to paint this abstract strawberry print. We're going to use a fun and quick technique that you can use to paint any kind of fruit or flower. So this time the watercolor effect is coming from the St. Petersburg texture. And I'm also using the brushes in the regular watercolor kit. And I'm going to start with the abstract round brush. And I'm just going to go through maybe around 30 or 40 percent and paint a bunch of stroke based strawberries. Next, I'm going to use the water blender brush and I'm going to blend and smooth out all of these uh, overlapping strokes. And some of the tops of these strawberries don't look quite right. So I'm going to use the eraser brush set to the fine liner pen and I'm going to try to flatten them out a little bit. So I tried not to refine the shapes too much because I do want these to stay pretty abstract. Next, I'm going to use the selection tool set to freehand and I'm going to select each strawberry individually and adjust the color using the hue, saturation, and brightness just to make each strawberry kind of more unique. Next, I'm going to add the leaves on top of each strawberry. And for that, I recommend using the hard edge brush and a somewhat dark olivey green tone. And I'm just going to add them in like this. Now, just to give more variety in these leaves, I'm going to go over it again using a darker version of that same green, but I'm just going to add a few dark leaves to each one. Next, I'm going to add the seeds onto each strawberry, and I like to do that on its own layer. And I'm going to use a pretty bright orange color and the fine liner pen brush. And I'm going to try to add those into each strawberry, uh, but very, very random with the uh, distribution. And the reason I did these seeds on their own layer is I want to set the transparency mode to multiply and then lower it and just set it to a point where they're barely visible. I just want these to be a kind of texture on each strawberry and not the focal point. There we go. And just to keep this more organized, I'm going to merge uh, all the layers onto one. Next, I'm going to move on and do the leaves. And I'm actually going to do these all on the same layer, uh, just to keep it simple. And for that, again, I'm going to use a pretty dark olivey green color. But for the brush, I'm going to use the abstract round. And all of these leaves are stroke based. So I'm just starting very lightly, then pressing harder, and then tapering it off like that. And I'm going to do a bunch of leaves all over this using that technique but I will shift the color a few times just so all the leaves don't look the same. Now once the leaves are done, I recommend going over it again with a really dark, I guess almost a bluish green tone. And I'm going to do these dark lines just on one side of a handful of these leaves, but not every single leaf will get this. And at this point it looks pretty good, but I have a lot of kind of weird uh, overlapping edges, especially in areas like this. So I'm going to go over the whole illustration using the water blender, and I'm going to try to blend all of this so it looks pretty loose and abstract and kind of uh, wet on wet watercolor. So there we go, that looks pretty good. Uh, it's definitely a lot smoother. Next, I want to show you a trick to make the colors a little bit more interesting. So I call it my random color variation technique. And I use the uh, selection tool set to freehand to do that. And I'll just make a random selection all over the whole illustration. And I'll feather it out quite a bit. Then I can go to hue, saturation, and brightness. I won't mess with those. I'm just going to shift the hue a little bit 
and try to drop in an interesting kind of secondary tone. There we go, a little bit of red. And I'm gonna do it again, but I'll try to select a different area this time. And this is just a technique to get some uh, interesting and random colors in the artwork. Now this illustration is looking really nice and it's almost done. Uh, I just wanna straighten it out a little bit. You can see it's kind of crooked. So as long as everything is on one layer, we can use the arrow tool, set to warp, and I'll zoom out here. And uh, watch what happens, like I can see a gap here, but when I pull the warp mesh, it also bends the mesh as well. So I can just kind of go back and then you can see how square we are. And this is a technique I use to try to make this artwork as square and regular as possible because that'll help me when I'm trying to fit it in a frame. There we go, all those edges look pretty good. And then I can move on to the last step, which is basically decorating it with black and white line artwork. So I like to do that on its own layer above the artwork. And I'm just gonna go over it with black and white and the fine liner pen and just kind of scribble and highlight any kind of random details or leaves here. And there we go, this abstract strawberry art print is all done. And here's the final result. So hopefully this technique is uh, pretty beginner friendly and easy to follow. I recommend giving this a try even if you're more uh, of an advanced painter, especially if you feel stuck in a rut. I personally find that painting in this kind of abstract way really gets me out of uh, any kind of artist block I might be stuck in. And that pretty much wraps it up. As always, if you think I've earned it, please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks again for all your support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.